The goals of our program are that the kids learn self-discipline, respect for themselves, respect for others, physical fitness, and karate. Well, actually karate was my first activity that I did here for three years and I'm still ongoing. Uh, karate gives me many things such as confidence. It, like, I feel like I can do what other people can do. So we called up here and said, how would you like about us to teach a karate class? And they said, oh yes, we'd like that. We show up the day of, and they said, here's the list of your 22 students, and we have a waiting list of another 20. <laughs> That's true, it was 40. And um, that was for the one class. And uh, obviously it was well, the concept was well received, you know, mm -hmm. action speaks louds afterwards. Then we started a summer class and they requested to work with the YMCA and have a second class. And we did that and so we allowed another 20 students, so that brought our numbers to 40. That worked out well. At the end of that season, in the, the fall, we decided to keep the class permanently hence the two classes we teach now. Uh, and we did increase the enrollment to up to 25, trying to erode on the wait list. And the thing about wait list is that once you empty them, they just seem to fill back up again. So we apparently still have a number of kids that would like to join us, but we have uh, no room for them. I have two children involved in the karate program, and they give them, it gives the program helps them be, um, have a higher self-esteem, self-control. We do fundraising for them too upgrade to a higher belt and we also do fundraising for them to go to tournaments and it helps them a lot with their self-esteem because once they go to a tournament I, I my daughter has won several medals and when she comes home and just you can see the joy on her face it's a roundhouse kick it was actually one of like the first kicks I learned and I really liked it because it was easier for me I guess well I've been trying to perfect it and to higher, more powerful, more precise. Sometimes I mess up, sometimes I fall, but you just have to learn to get back up and try again. We had this young lady just join with us, very shy, and didn't want to go out and greet the world. We encouraged her to take on these uh, hardships of technique, getting herself, pushing herself. As a result of that, she started getting involved in high school. She taught a class for us during the summer. And then she was elected the representative for the high school to the Harvard and Stanford summer programs. And she says that it was the karate program that helped give her self-confidence to believe in herself. And at Blue right now, I've been a month. That month I've learned that you need to really try or else you'll get nowhere in life. Some of the things that we ask them to do are mechanically hard to figure out. It's like trying to learn to ride a bicycle. You know, it's pretty straightforward once you figure it out, but there's that process of trying to not die in the process of learning how to ride the bicycle and then wiggling around. Uh, it's the same thing in a lot of the things that we teach them. We're asking them to do things with their bodies that they don't know how to do. And they really struggle with that. And, and sometimes they get frustrated, but we keep persisting and they keep working at it. And then it's almost suddenly, it's like yesterday, it's amazing they could stand up straight and then suddenly they are dropping into a stance absolutely correctly. Uh, uh, and, and when you see that, it's just like, it's such a, a good feeling when that happens. It's like, oh, they did it. They accomplished that. And that's going to help them understand that, yes, I can learn something that I've never done before and I can actually figure it out and do it and be successful. It's a life lesson. It moves forward in everything. And so this is what the kids are doing, is they're learning that they can improve themselves. They're learning that they can look at something that looks impossible and they start doing it.